Well, first let's define the published market yes. and the unpublished huh. market. I can tell you the split between published jobs and unpublished jobs, visible jobs and hidden jobs is not a 2080 split. That split is that the unpublished, the hidden market is thousands of times larger. The published market is not even 1%. The contrast is that strong. So published market is a market where roles are posted. There's a full job description, but it's a much smaller market and it's a highly competitive market because roles are posted. Everybody can see the role and they can apply for the role. Uh, and it's also a market where typically you will not generate significantly higher income. You're solving standard problems. There's a job description that tells you these are the issues. And for solving that, this is the remuneration. The unpublished market is the market where the jobs are never posted. There's no job description, uh, but it's a much larger market and that is the market that pays you multiple times more than the published market. Uh, in essence, you are creating a job for yourself there. And if you know the process of how to build value propositions and market them, there is no better market. It, it creates such a, a strong incentive for companies uh, to hire you because they know that the value proposition that you bring to the table is perfectly aligned with your experiences and your career history. So I can tell you uh, the unpublished market is very, very on track uh, in terms of helping working professionals generate offers from outside India. It's a market where we see a much higher rate of success. That said, we also see a, a fair amount of success in the published market because the learnings of how you work the unpublished market also leverage themselves to the, to the published. published market. Um, the value proposition has to be super compelling and that's what brings the offers to you. We had a student just generated three offers in the US and he's joining a company called Novaloop in California in Menlo Park. Um, and I can tell you, very qualified plastics engineer, but here was struggling to get into employment. He had lost his job. He'd been out of a job for four years. Somehow was sur surviving based on contractual positions. And the last position that he was in, he was requesting a salary of two lakh rupees a month. So that's a 24 lakh per annum package. They agreed to pay him 80,000 and they actually paid him 28,000. And he didn't have a choice, he felt so trapped. Uh, 45 days, generated three offers from the United States, Novaloop, Alcoa and Selenese since joining the course. And the offer that he has accepted, uh, the total remuneration including the immigration package and all of that is upwards of 1.3 crores. Phenomenal, phenomenal jump. The man had a tremendous amount of power in his stake, but unfortunately the market was not giving him the opportunity. Nobody wanted to listen. Um, and you know, the average offers that we see are right now almost a 4x. They are touching almost a 4x if you know how to play the game right uh, from outside India. And you know, there are so many fields that are so hot right now. You look at IT, you look at operations, you look at uh, telecom with you know the launch of 5G going on. Uh, there are so many fields. It's just the world has never been a better place for anybody driven who wants to find the right career. I mean, you look at senior management across global organizations, um, Adobe and IBM, and you know, of course you have the Google and the Microsoft and all, these are all Indian CEOs, MasterCard. Yes. Uh, now Lena Nair at, at Chanel, Indira Nui in what she do, did with Pepsi. And I feel the time for the Indian senior management executive is here we are going to see this double and triple and quadruple. There has never been a better time. Indian management is some of the finest management in the world.